Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, and today I'd like to talk about receiving Holy Communion. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So friends, in our discipleship, we have the immense honor of receiving the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. And at times, if we're not careful, we can start to take this for granted. It can become very mechanical. And we just can get a little sloppy. First, we have to be careful that when we're receiving Holy Communion, we have to make sure that we're in a state of grace. So if there's some grave sin or severe unforgiveness or a rupture between ourselves and central teachings of the church, if one or all these apply, then we should not approach Holy Communion until that has been resolved. So we can approach and ask for a blessing, but we should wait and either go to sacramental confession or to seek the guidance of a priest in order to work out these different areas so that our hearts are pure, our hearts are clean as we receive Holy Communion. That's the most important. We we do not want to receive sacrilegious communions. We also want to make sure that when we receive Holy Communion that we are recollected and understand what it means. When we receive Holy Communion, this is the greatest act we can do. We participate in the Holy Sacrifice, the representation, the making present of the Lord's one historical sacrifice. And then after that, we are then invited as baptized Christians in the state of grace to receive Holy Communion. So we make sure that we are recollected and aware of what we're doing. We want to make sure that we are reverential, that we show proper homage when we're approaching Holy Communion. There's no reason to rush this. There's no reason to think somehow we have to hurry along. We have to make sure, again, that we show due reverence and and a proper sense of of respect and honor to the Blessed Sacrament. Whenever we approach, we should receive in a worthy manner. We should receive with reverence. And afterwards, we should make sure we give some prayers of thanksgiving, thanking the Lord for the immense opportunity to receive Him. It's only by His grace that this is made possible. And so we want to make sure that we pause and offer some prayers of thanksgiving. That is oftentimes forgotten in the hurry and the the fast pace of of so many people. The point I want to highlight is just how immense a privilege and honor it is that we get to receive Holy Communion, the very body and blood of our Lord. So reflect seriously upon this, dear friends, and make sure that you are always ready, spiritually and mentally, to receive Holy Communion. And those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting the good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.